Well, the race got underway at 3.10 as the temperatures climbed here in Eugene, Oregon. The uh, 45 starters full of optimism and hope. And indeed, the complexion of the race with the first half was much slower than the uh, women's, much different. Yamanishi, the defending champion, testing the opposition through the middle stages of the race with surges, lap after lap, and then slowing down. And Karlstrom of Sweden, the uh, 35 kilometer champion from Oman back in March, giving a good account of himself, lap after lap, always there, contributing to the pace. But at times it was slow and the pack was 20 or 20, 22 strong in the middle stages. But it was all building to a crescendo that was uh, unrelenting in the closing laps. The one kilometer lap offered almost zero shade for these uh, walkers as it had done for the women a couple of hours earlier. And as uh, Yamanishi, the champion, slowed on purpose there, just almost controlling the acceleration of Karlstrom. And for example, on that lap going past him, so he had it all very much in control. 13 kilometers reached in uh, 52.15. The opening 5K was 20.11. The second 5K, 20.22. The third 5K, well, Yamanishi began to turn it on and impress. 19.24 for the third five kilometer segment, uh, almost a minute quicker than the previous 5K. And in the latter stages, it came down to four. Karlstrom battled on, testing his competitors in those final three or four laps. But the Japanese were just biding their time. And as they heard the bell, so it was the defending champion, the reigning champion, Toshikazu Yamanishi, who poured it on, dragging his teammate uh, Ikeda, Koki Ikeda with him. For a while, it looked like Kathimba of Kenya. Samuel Kereri Kathimba would take a bronze, but he was caught eventually by the Swede Karlstrom on the final lap. Yamanishi stormed away with a monstrous acceleration over the final circuit. His final lap taking just three minutes 40 and easing away to a comfortable victory from his teammate Koki Ikeda, who ensured it was a 1-2 for Japan. The winning margin, seven seconds as he crossed the line and retained the title of world champion at 20 kilometers. The truth be told, he looked truly dominant throughout the race. Ikeda delighted with yet another silver medal and Karlstrom, a fabulously quick final lap from him to ease away by some eight seconds from uh, Samuel Kereri Gathimba. The medals then going to proven performers Yamanishi, champion once again for Japan. Ikeda, yet another silver. And Karlstrom making it onto the rostrum for Sweden.